In Boardman, ODOT is looking to make Route 224 safer and improve traffic with a new project. Yeah, crews would take down three traffic lights on the highway and put up cement barriers, preventing people from taking left turns. Gina Cadigan spoke to ODOT on how they expect this to reduce accidents and spoke with people on if they believe this proposal could make things a little bit better. Good evening, Gina. Derek and Madison, ODOT will be accepting public comment on this project until March 1st. They say they will consider everyone's opinion before this gets set, set in stone. This traffic has just bizarre out of shape. ODOT is looking to improve the traffic flow on 224. A proposed $20 million project would take down traffic lights at three spots on the highway, including in front of the Southern Park Mall. You remove the traffic light. What in essence is going to end up happening is, is you're going to have traffic moving through there a little bit more free flowing. In their place, ODOT would put concrete barriers in between the east and westbound lanes so that cars can't take a left turn across opposing traffic. ODOT expects the new traffic pattern to lower the amount of crashes. Between 2013 and 2017, there were more than 1,800 crashes on that stretch of 224. The two most common crashes were rear endings because cars were stopped and angle crashes. You know, they're trying to cut across three or four lanes of traffic and then they're getting hit, you know, they're getting T-boned. When the barriers go up, cars will only be able to change their direction by making a U-turn at the major traffic lights. You know, you're sitting there, you're waiting for the signal, you'll have the right of way when you can make, make your turn. You, you know, just proceed cautiously. But some drivers think it won't help. You'll have more accidents, more minor accidents. People are going to hit the concrete. In the wintertime, when the road changes, you got the ice, they're going to go off there and they're going to go in another direction. If the project goes through, ODOT expects construction to start in spring of 2026. With more local news, I'm Gina Cadigan.